Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Ravikus, and welcome back to Coffee Talk, episode 12. Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. Press any key to continue. Let's go. Rest of the evening, whispers. We got Weird Stein Company criticized for unfair depiction of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Makes sense. Coachella 2020, do's and don'ts. Atlantic ambassador and talks with fire regarding immigration. I should have did that a long time ago. All right, let's start the day with this coffee now. Welcome. Hey, Curtis Jackson. Good evening, Freya. You look very cheerful today. And it's all thanks to you. What did I do? Hey. <laughs> I finally got a good night's sleep last night. Like, I slept like a log. A proper 12 hours of closing my eyes and not thinking about anything. Good for you. You really needed that. I know. But I had a deadline coming. And I've been pushing myself to finish this draft. A bit too much, I guess. So how's it going now? You won't believe this. I probably will. But when I woke up this afternoon, the words just flowed through me like water. And not forced crap like I've been writing recently. And that's why taking a break is important. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to start lecturing me now. So, what's your plan now? Now, as in right at this moment, I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. And after that, I'll continue writing. Sounds like a solid plan. Go on now, you know what the restroom is. Okay, I need something to drink now. For you? You're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. That is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of the place, just right here. No, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your thing, okay? But... See? There's a customer coming right now. So don't worry about me. Oh. Hi, Gala. What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Mm. Freya. Curtis Jackson. I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Gala. Hey, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, No casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Hmm. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what you mean? Do you want anything to drink, Freya? No. It's all right, Gara. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help me stop feeling so guilty. At least a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Not an espresso, mind you. Something with a little less of a kick. You know how to make sugar and spice. The one with cinnamon. Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. Okay, yeah, I know how to make this one. We good, we good, we good. First we had the coffee. 
Then we had the uh, money. Then we had the cinnamon. Then we had that brew. Brew, 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 brew. I said brew, brew, brew. Hey! One sugar and spice coming up. Sugar and spice for the lady with the vice. Hey. Oh well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. Curtis Jackson, are you sure there's nothing I could do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Hmm. The hospital was really packed yesterday after the announcement. Announcement? The one saying that a replacement government issued Fury sedative will be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of a full moon was just stupid. So many restless werewolves came asking about a sedative. Which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready. Just that it was coming soon. You think people read the whole article? They only saw the headline or glance at it at the news stall. Then they went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them, though. Finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous. It's difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain it to dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue werewolves in the isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point that we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why, at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I'd have asked a friend to lock me in one of our isolation rooms, of course. But I couldn't, so I rushed right back to my apartment. But it was too late. Thankfully, I was in this area, and I managed to force myself to come to your place. Carla, excuse me for asking this. Yes. But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. And I didn't see any blood on my clothes. That's good to hear. This might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday. But I have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards, usually. I end up destroying stuff around me, or worst case, hurting myself. Hmm. Despite all that, I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Always looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I can do to pay, but I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, Please, don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure, what you having? The same as yesterday. Oh, right on. One gallon had coming up. Y'all know, first you hit that tea, then you hit that milk, then you hit that ginger, then we hit that brew, 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 I said brew, 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 hey! One gallon had coming up. Here's your special brew. Thank you. Mm. The drink that saved me. Once again, thank you for helping me find this drink. By the way, Gala, now that you can be 100% sure that that drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm, though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. 
I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risk before I can make sure how effective that remedy is. Whew. What the? Uh... Ray, Rachel? What's going on? Huh. What else? Y your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Coachella. Just to get into an argument with my manager. Huh? Before we continue, Curtis Jackson, a cafe latte, please. Right on, right on, one cafe latte coming up. First you had the coffee, then you had the milk, then you hit the milk, then you hit the brew, 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 brew. I said brew, 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 hey! Let's try to make some coffee latte, I mean latte art. That's what I meant to say. Boom, boom, let's go. Alright, we're gonna make a little heart if we can. We're gonna pour that milk. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, kind of look like a heart a little bit. Alright, let's see if we can etch it, just make it look better. Mm. Uh, shoot. Dude, I'm really bad at this. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Let me just serve it. Your cafe latte is ready. Thanks. How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father. And he messaged me about coming beforehand. Said he was just going to wish me luck. So I told him to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came. And... Ugh. I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guard to kick him out. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowd. Did the concert go well at least? Oh yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually, no one pays much attention to whoever is on first. But there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So, you don't need to be at the event anymore after this? Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was this press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me, so we decided to just do a mini-conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you. But your managers probably worked some of his influence too. <laughs> so, why are you here? Uh, because of that, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages. At a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time. Because Mr. Lester's my manager and it's his party. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No, I know you can do that by using his name. But I don't think he should do that with you. 
Why? I'm an adder. No, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good, then. Hmm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. He'll find out. Especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties, but inviting an underage person to his party? That might be a bit too far. Look, huh? Oh, meow. <clears throat> What's Oh no. Dad. What? Rachel, is that Mr. Hendry? Yes. Dad. What happened? Curtis Jackson, can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk? Yeah, just milk. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. First we had the milk, then we had some milk, then we had some milk. Hey, brew. Brew, 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 wait, brew. You don't brew milk. <laughs> it's probably a bad taste to sing while I'm serving milk to someone who's, in, uh, who's injured. Here you go, Mr. Hendry. Hang on. Thank you. Dad, please hold on. Can somebody help me call an ambulance, please? They're on the way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our Nekomimi expert personally. She's off shift right now. But she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what might have happened without your help. Don't mention it. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh boy. That was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place. Well, at least some people think of your place as they go to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. Huh. Well, I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So I can't understand them. I hope Hendry's alright. Me too. At least he's in good hands now, Austy hands. What's your plans for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place then. Will do. Woo! Another good episode down, guys. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Shout out to the little nephews and cousins, and I'll see you in the next one. Choose.